I finally went out to see the movie that's making people throw up in the theater. I didn't see any puke. But I believe it. In Terrifier 2, after being resurrected by a sinister entity, Art the Clown returns to the timid town of Miles County, where he targets a teenage girl and her younger brother on Halloween night. Welcome to Box of Chocolates, where you never know what you're gonna get. I talked about Terrifier in a recent video, and now we got the new one that is still playing in theaters now, Terrifier 2. That first one was an incredibly simple movie. It was just 90 minutes of extreme violence delivered by Art the Clown. There was no story, there were barely characters, it was just about the bloodshed. So I was very curious what they would change for a sequel, especially one that's two hours and 20-something minutes long. How do you get that much time out of Art the Clown? But this is all just gonna be my opinion, of course. If you've seen the movie, leave your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Whatever you think about it, we can talk about it down there. And we are gonna stay spoiler-free. So essentially, Terrifier 2 is everything that the first one had ramped up with the additional, much welcome aspects of having a more traditional story, characters that you can root for, and things like that, that made it a much more satisfying experience. I can watch the first one as a simple little gory time, but there's not much more to it than that. This one was much more interesting and I think a lot better. So to start off with the things that I liked, yeah, I mean, I totally believe that there have been some people, I don't know how many, but some who have vomited at this thing because it's pretty extreme. It's probably up there as one of the most violent movies that I've seen. And when you bring that up, some people might go to things like a Serbian film or like the most extreme of extremes. And yeah, you always have those movies in the conversation, but that's another level of depravity where it's like, I don't want to watch it and wouldn't recommend it at all. Terrifier 2 is one of the most violent movies I've seen that is still really entertaining to watch and I actually recommend. I think it toes that line very nicely. Like it's for gore hounds. If you can't handle that, stay far away. It goes very far with these deaths, not just kills, but kill sequences. Like, you'll think it's over and this person will just be left to die now, and it's not over. But because of the character of Art the Clown and the over-the-top nature of it all, it still remains very fun. The practical effects are great to look at, and Art is such a fun character. I enjoyed him in the first one because of the design, David Howard Thornton's physical performance, like the facial expressions that he made, the fact that he was so expressive while remaining silent, and here he is so much fun. Like he is just having such a fun time torturing and killing people that on some level you have to respect it. <laughs> you gotta respect the dedication. You should be passionate about what you do for a living, right? Seriously though, kids. Don't be like Art. He's a bad man. But it'll show you the most horrifying thing you've ever seen and then immediately cut to Art just being like... And uh, you laugh! <laughs> the whole theater laughed! We laugh at him while also acknowledging that, oh, we, we shouldn't be giving him credit here for this horrific work of art that he's mutilated this person's body into. It does a good job balancing that, like not going full on horror comedy. The things that happen are very serious, but you have him in there and just the over the top nature of it all to where it maintains a fun feeling throughout the whole thing. There's one scene in particular in the middle of this insane gore fest that's probably one of the funniest scenes I've seen all year in a Halloween shop. It was great. And we actually get a little bit more story and lore and explanation about art in this movie, whereas the first one had none at all. We start to see a little bit more of what he's like, getting into his head a little bit. You start to get some backstory, you get some other characters who are connected to him in a mysterious way. You get full-on confirmation about whether or not there are supernatural elements at play. There's a lot more to it. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video too, but I did appreciate the addition of a lot more story and characters. Our main lead is pretty kick-ass, played by Lauren Lavera. She's doing a really good job, and this character is well-developed. She's well-characterized. When it comes to the conflict with art, she kicks ass, she fights back, she survives, and she's really fun to watch. You actually have somebody to root for, not just her, her brother as well, who's a pretty young kid, but this is the type of movie where 
you know that doesn't necessarily mean anything is off limits to happen to that kid, so you're worried for them, I was rooting for them. And Art is such a vicious motherfucker that when the pain gets turned around on him, it's extremely satisfying. Like, I wanted even more of that, but it was good. These characters were really good to follow, and you got a supporting cast in there that's perfectly fine, but you know, they, they do the job for body count. I also like a lot of the horror references and movie references in general. There will be some cameos for some uh, horror actors that you'd probably recognize. If you're like me and you happen to have watched A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 The Dream Master 500 times as a kid because it was your favorite one at the time, there's a nice sequence in this that you'll recognize. I was like, oh shit, are they doing Nightmare 4? Oh yeah, I think they are. That was really cool. I liked that a lot. And for being so long as a slasher film, especially one that was as simple as Terrifier, how do you expand that to be so long? Did it need to be quite that long? I think you could have trimmed a bit of it. But ultimately, I was entertained. I didn't feel like it was dragging very much. By the time we got to the end, I actually wanted to see more. So for how long it is, I think it utilized that length pretty well. Not perfectly, I think it could have been cut down a bit, but that's kind of a mixed element. On to a couple of my negatives though. I didn't really care for the main character's mother's performance. I thought she was just way too over the top. The character just kind of is. She's just angry at her children all the time, but I just found her performance far too hammy. And the biggest negative about this movie is that while I appreciate that it's starting to introduce these ideas to expand on Art the Clown and this story and this lore, it leaves so much unanswered that it felt really, really unsatisfying by the end. Like, it goes into very specific things about this guy and these characters' connection to him and the way all this stuff works. Like, it's expanding on the story a lot to the point where you're really supposed to pay attention to this stuff and really wonder what the answers to the mysteries are and how all this works. Like, it goes very far with it. But if you go that far and then you answer none of it, what am I to do? Yeah, it's a slasher, they're always gonna wanna make more, and maybe if you have another movie or several more down the line and you watch them all together, you'll get all the answers by then, but this entry on its own was very unsatisfying in that department, and I don't know if they have any good answers in mind at all. Maybe they're just gonna make it up as they go and we'll have to wait years and the answers will be stupid. And either way, I think it gets in the way of some of the satisfaction of this movie because by the time we're at the climax, I'm really rooting for the main character to succeed, but some of the plot elements that would allow her to potentially succeed are so vague about how they work. There's no explanation there that I'm like, okay, I don't know how you're doing that, how this is gonna work to make you succeed. I am rooting for you anyway, but that's kind of a distraction. It takes away from the emotional fulfillment of her potential victory because you're like, okay, yeah, I do want you to win. I have no idea how this works though. I don't know how that thing did that thing. I don't know why you can see that. I don't know how that guy has to do with that guy. Uh, we'll just go with it, I guess. Go kick his ass. And the plot really being explained and all of these story elements coming cohesively together could have added to the emotional investment, but I feel like it distracts from it a little bit. Especially if you do have a, a two hour and 20 minute movie, you had time to give some of those answers. I thought we were gonna go really deep with the lore in that kind of runtime, and we do. We start to, but it doesn't answer the things. Like I said, it's stuff that is clearly meant to be answered in the future. It is left open on purpose for the sake of more, and I do get it, but you needed at least some. There are like five or so major questions that I have, and you needed to answer like one or two, as opposed to none. Like I said before, that I wasn't really bothered that much by the length, I wanted to see more. That's because when the credits came up, I went, oh, really? You're gonna stop right there? I expected follow-up. I expected to see more of what happens after those events start to give me a little explanation for some of these elements that you've introduced, and it just stops, and I was left a little bit cold after being very entertained the entire time. I just wish they had gotten a little more detailed with those story elements. But ultimately, I had quite a fun time with Terrifier 2. It's especially cool just 
from a horror fan perspective, there have been so many great horror movies this year, and now you get something like this that was largely crowdfunded, I believe, and this is just this extreme gore fest with very little marketing in theaters competing against much larger movies, and that it's making a lot of money relative to its budget based purely on word of mouth and the fans really wanting to support it, and I think that's really cool. So very happy for Damien Leone and everybody involved because clearly there was a lot of passion put into this, and I think they mostly did a really good job. And I will be there for more. Whatever story ideas you do come up with, I do want to see it and hope that as a whole series, however many they end up making, it'll all come together nicely. And good luck topping yourself with the kills. Uh, <laughs> Can't wait to see what the hell they do there. So I'm gonna give it a strong three, because if you're not into gore, you need to stay the hell away. If you do want to see a very violent slasher, then here you go. It's a fun one. Even if you didn't like the first Terrifier, if you appreciated the killer elements, but not so much the lack of story and characters, this one improves upon that a lot, so it might be worth watching for you anyway. Anybody who wants to see the creativity of good old Art the Clown and his uh, humorous killing spree, it's fun. So many good horror movies this year, so many great ones that are ending up absolute favorites of the year for me, and so that's really great to see. If you've seen Terrifier 2, leave your thoughts down in the comments below, whatever you think about it. Did you enjoy it a lot more than the first one? I imagine most people will. It's really just a major step up in pretty much every way, which I love to see. Could you not get into it? Whatever. Talk about it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me. We got more coming. New movies, old movies of all kinds to talk about. Black Adam's coming out soon. Other stuff probably is, I guess, whatever's coming out. I'll talk about some of it. Should be fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you for the next one.